Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your bonus love reading for January 2023. Let's see what's happening for you guys. What's going on here? Ooh, we have the Seven of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. And the Two of Wands. Okay. So, there's options, there's choices, there's confusion. But things are shifting, they are changing in your favor. Looks like you're coming in some money or a lucky period as far as finances. Or maybe even a job opportunity, a golden opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. You might have to make a decision here with the Two of Wands. Okay, we have here Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Here's your energy. Things are coming into balance for you. Okay. Now... Let's do some clarifying. Why do we have the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ooh. Look at this independence. Wow. I'm saying I think your money is looking really good. You have different options, different choices, and you're doing whatever brings you your independence and also bring you financial security here. What about the Wheel of Fortune? Whoa. You're speaking your truth. You're cutting out things that do not belong, that do not serve you. Like these aces. What a way to go. Okay, what about this Ace of Pentacles? Hmm, you're balancing things out. Things, I think things were not balanced in the past. Now you're making sure it's balanced. And you know what? If you get a job offer, you're going to make sure that you're getting compensated. You're not going to be working for nothing or not being underpaid. So let's see. Why do we have this two of wands here? Ooh. Two of cups. Two twos. Twos are always decision. Two of Cups is a partnership. You might be coming into a partnership trying to decide if you want to be in partnership with someone. Could be a business partnership. Could be a love partnership. We do have a Knight of Swords coming in very quick towards you. Someone wants to speak to you. Okay, let's see what else we have going on. Whoa! See how that came flying out? Ace of Wands. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, and we have justice. I love it. And this is the Six of Pentacles again. Wow, Ten of Cups. What a beautiful reading. Okay, bottom of deck. Oh, that's a good photo. We have the Nine of Pentacles again. You might be hiding your independence. Weird how that card was flipped over, but this is coming in. I think there's opportunities coming in, but you're, you know. You're keeping their kind of hush. That's a good idea. Ace of Wands, a new opportunity, something that you're very excited about, something you're very passionate about, creating something new here. And it's going to bring you in a fair, just um, decision here. Now, again, look at this card. Someone is offering you one pentacle, but they have much more to give. You know, this person is grabbing this pentacle, but there's more to be had here. So hang in there because you can get more. Someone's offering you something for to pay you a certain amount. You know, tell them it's not enough. It's because you can get much more. Okay, then we have the Ten of Pentacles here. And I think you will hold out and get paid more money because someone's trying to get you for less than you're worth. But I think you're wise to it. And that's not going to happen. Okay, what about the Ace of Wands? Mm. Again, another two. Very interesting with this reading. Trying to balance things out. Making sure that things are balanced. Justice is also balanced. I like that because this is like the scales in here with the balance. So you're, you're definitely trying to make sure your life is in balance at this time. And of course, Sagittarius likes to be balanced. The Temperance card. Um, Ooh, the lovers. There's going to be some kind of... Could be dealing with Libra. Could be dealing with a Gemini here. Again, a choice card. But things coming into balance with someone here. You have the lovers card. You have the two of cups card. Okay. Ooh, and the star card. Wow, you're getting a lot of attention. This is you standing out. 
you might be um are you famous or about to become famous this is you um getting your fame and recognition here and also with the ten of cups a lot of happiness here with the home life and let's clarify this ten of cups Ooh, the queen of wands yeah this is definitely you standing out this is you're looking good male or female does not matter oh this is our first um court card here okay we have yeah there's a transition going on here for you you're looking very good you're getting a lot of attention say queen of wands okay bottom deck we have the devil okay first thing they said to me was um temptation there's going to be someone some kind of temptation there could be a capricorn that's coming in for some reason, i think you might be overworking too okay let's see what else do we have here for sagittarius oh i just looked at the time it was five 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 there's changes coming in there's changes we have the king of swords the queen of wands again oh the six look at these six 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 here and the queen of swords well that's very interesting king and queen of swords they're facing different directions though and someone is really in their head about something trying to figure something out okay let's start with the king of swords aquarius libra gemini could be anybody here's a triangle okay you might be in a love triangle and it might be with this queen of swords and this king of swords because we have the queen of wands here twice so i feel like you're, you're the queen of wands there might be someone here this king of swords you might be involved with this king of swords but there's a queen of swords here is looking in the opposite direction maybe not seeing what's going on hmm okay let me get a king of swords here okay let's see what's going on with your queen of swords. queen of wands what i feel is you okay a cat independent balanced very psychic let's see queen of wands okay someone's moving away from something this is movement are you moving away from this person here or it could you know it could be this queen of swords is moving away here let me um get a queen of swords here We have a seahorse here. Now this now this person, I'm getting for some of you, this person's married to this Queen of Swords. But in comes you, and this person is wanting you. So someone's moving on. You could be moving on, or maybe this Queen of Swords is saying, I'm not dealing with this. Someone's stuck in their head, though, mentally conflicted, don't know what to do here. Let's see if we get some more information on this why is the king of swords here what's the story with this king of swords ah magician this person's manifesting here uh, for the magician i have um aries and aquarius so someone's manifesting you okay they want you so what's going on with you with this queen of wands let's get more on that we'll see there's competition here Hmm. Now, let's see about this. Might be arguments, fights, competition. What about the Six of Swords? Someone's moving on. Someone's moving away. Oh, see, there's cheating here. There's lying. There's cheating. So someone's moving away. Now, what about this Queen of Swords? Yeah, there's an ending here with this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords might be ending with this person because they're interested in you. And they just say, I had it. So I think this Queen of Swords is ending this and walking away. They say, I'm not dealing with this energy here. I'm not dealing with this person anymore. So, Ten of Pentacles. See, you're coming into a commitment. So you might be coming into this commitment with this person. This person's leaving. Or this also could be a lot of money coming in for you because it does look, your reading looks really good. Hmm. Scorpio energy with the death card endings, new beginning, transformation. Yeah, so someone was sneaky cheating and someone moved on from this. And I'm not dealing with this. So take it if it resonates. It might be for you. It might not be for you. Okay, so now let's get some more cards on here. But I think you're doing really well here. 
Get a lot of tension standing out. Romance. Okay, romance is coming in. Safe. You have to feel that safe in order to love. So maybe once this person moves out of the picture. Friends. Your friends are going to help you. Your friends are coming in to help you with the situation or with whatever you're doing here. And we have patience. You mean patience? Sagittarius. The temperance card is a card of patience. You're at a crossroads. Well, of course, we kept on getting the two. So there is some kind of crossroad coming in for you. And we have love. So love's coming in. Okay. Money. Okay, so money might have been something that held this connection back. But we do have, you have money now. Okay, let's see what else we get on here. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else? We have journey. You're going on a trip. You're going on a journey. Traveling. Could be relocating. So you're in someone's thoughts. Someone's really thinking heavily on you. And they're going to bring you a gift. Okay. Ah, there's sudden wealth coming in for you. Well, it did feel like that's this reading is about you coming into a lot of money. Making some good money, you know. And someone's in bad health. Someone might be sick. Might be a cold. It doesn't feel... And there's a mature woman. So, it seems like this thoughts, this person's thoughts are about a mature woman. So if you're the mature woman or if you're the man, thinking about the mature woman. And then we have, but there's a false person here. Who is this false person? Is it this person that's leaving here, this Queen of Swords, that's not dealing with this? Or is it actually this, this King of Swords that's coming in? Might be considered a false person. Let me get a couple cards on this. Just clarify more about this false person, please. What's going on with this false person? We have the Two of Cups. Get this way. There's something hidden here with this partnership, this Two of Cups. Someone wants to work together, though, in a, um, a partnership. But someone's not sure if they want to take it because they don't trust someone. They feel like someone might be false. I think it might be this um, King of Swords. You're probably figuring if this person's willing to cheat on this person, they'll probably cheat on me. So that's what I'm feeling like someone's... You might be a little uncomfortable with this. Hmm... Or this person here could just be more mature than this person. Maybe it's not as far as physically, but it could be mentally. It doesn't have to be physical. But you are coming into money. It seems like you're doing quite well here. So take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. Let me get the word now. We'll start with the first Queen of Wands. Let's just scoop on this Queen of Wands. Confused. Sincere freedom. Okay, so you can be very confused at this time, but you want to make sure you keep your freedom. Now let's do this King of Swords. We have love, accused, denying, sharing. Okay, so this person is denying that they were actually probably um, having two people at once and they love you. But I do, they still was juggling these other, the Queen of Swords here. So let's see this other Queen of Wands. We have important career intruder. So someone might be coming, intruding in your career. Might be this person trying to um, romance you. Might You might feel that as an intruder or it might be this person, this Queen of Swords. Let's get something on this Queen of Swords. We have... Keeps the money. Mystery. Gift. Ooh. So this person might be given this person that they they cheated on with you. 
either let them, if they're divorced them, they're married, they might let them keep some money. And they might also be giving them a gift that you're not aware of. And that might make you, um, you probably don't like that. Let's see, let's get a, um, a clarifier on the keep some money. Oh yeah, there's a gift of money. Look at that. They're giving them some kind of money, some kind of present. Gift? A gift again? Money? Mystery? Yeah, maybe that's... You don't trust this person so much because why are they still giving to this person? But if they were married to them or they have kids or something like that, maybe they don't want to like cut ties completely, but they're interested in you. But this person's walking away. But they probably still want to sort of... I almost feel like they still want to sort of have a connection here. They don't, don't want to totally cut this off. They're very attracted to you. They're, they desire you. But there is a, a deep connection as far as these people are on the same wavelength. They think the same. I am, or This mature woman could be this person here. And this person here, this king of swords, could be older, older than you. So this, you might be the younger woman for some of you. But there is a very, still a very strong bond. This, these people are on the same wavelength. Hmm, okay. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Let's see what signs you can be dealing with, Sagittarius. What are the signs? Pisces. Scorpio. Libra. Taurus. Scorpio. And Taurus, look at that. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay, now let's do the letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and someone has a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have C, H, hmm. I don't know how this fell down anyway. C H P T X F Q L A M N Okay, so letters we have here today are C H P T X F Q L A M N. Now let's see what names we get for you guys. What are the names for Sagittarius? Yeah, so I've also, I'm getting back onto this false woman. Something is definitely hidden here. Something that you're not feeling comfortable on. I also I got pulled to that. Okay, we have Lisa Karen, K A R Y N. Vicky, V I K K I. Johnny. Furquan, F-U-R-Q-A-N, um, Rodney, Nicole, Diane, Cindy, and Charlie, oh, exactly 11, I thought I needed another one, and Jamar, Jamir, J-A-M-I-E-R. Okay, there's 11. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. I know this is not going to resonate with everyone, but because um, there is a lot of people watching, though. So um, let me know if it does resonate. And um, if it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more on one of those placements. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I really appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.